Hey, here we are, plant gang. It's August, uh, and we're in transition with this plant, Sonara cardunculus, the cardoon. Uh, this is a Mediterranean-like plant uh, that is a, na a relative of a plant you probably know best from a cheesy dip. Uh, it's an artichoke relative. Uh, look at the seeds. This is where a purple, a beautiful purple artichoke-like flower was. And the true artichoke that you eat is in the genus Sonara. And so uh, we can't grow that very well in the eastern United States. That's more uh, of a plant that you would see grown in California for uh, food production. I'm not saying it can't be done. It's just a little bit harder to do. Uh, but this, these were all bloom stocks in high summer. Uh, and as the weather will start to cool, we'll actually see this beautiful silver foliage foliage reemerge uh, from the ground and show out uh, for fall. And fall and spring are one of the most beautiful times to just enjoy the bold, uh, silvery, Mediterranean looking foliage of the cardoon. So one to three foot high, spreading out three to six foot, foot wide. Uh, can be hardy uh, in kind of the higher parts of zone seven uh, on up and, and reemerge uh, from the ground. But this plant is also planted as an annual uh, because of its beautiful foliage. Uh, you can actually grow this from seed and people do collect the seeds and grow this from seed as an annual. And if you plant them early enough, potentially inside and then bring them out, uh, you can get flowering in the first, uh, the first year. Loves full sun, a really moderate maintenance plant. Uh, we'll classify this as a perennial uh, in particular in zone seven. Grown for show, showy foliage. Uh, if it does overwinter, that spring foliage is beautiful. Uh, but then as weather cools, again, another flush of beautiful silvery foliage. Here's a landscape tip. Cardoon brings architecture to the garden with its bold texture, thanks to its large, prickly, almost dagger-shaped gray-green arching leaves. It has a vase shape that adds to its beauty.